It is the news that parents never want to hear, the death of a son or daughter. And when a local mother and father lost their son to a drug overdose, they decided to turn their grief into help for others. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan has their story. As Chris Wall sank deeper and deeper into addiction, his parents tried everything they could, but in the end were powerless to stop his destructive descent. When Chris died of a fatal overdose in May 2016, Bill Wall and Beth Thies promised not to hide the reason for their son's death, vowing that his struggle would not be in vain. With all these people who are dying um, and who are affected by this. We weren't going to hide or run away from the disease. Um, we wanted people to know. They took their pain, the loss of a child, and transformed it into hope, funding the creation of Chris's Room, a safe harbor for addicts seeking refuge in heroin ravaged Washington County. There's a kitchen, a shower, and rooms for meditation or counseling where they'll hopefully find a path to recovery. They don't have to be out in the street. They can come here and get something to eat. They can get a shower. They can relax. They can talk to other people. It's part of a larger outreach program where so-called care navigators reach out to addicts, visiting them at their homes, and if they're willing, bring them here to Chris's room, making them aware of the treatment options available to them. I don't want to die. I've had so many friends die. I don't, I don't want to die today. I, um, I do see hope for my future. Chris's room is part of the Southwestern Pennsylvania Human Services Care Center where recovering addicts like Natalie can get that kind of counseling or just some peace of mind. Every day if you have something going on, you can just come back here. There's at least four people working here at all times. Even if you just need to sit, sit back here by, a minute by yourself, you can do that. And Center Director Kelly McKevitt says that kind of continuum is designed to prevent addicts from falling through the cracks, relapses, and overdoses. We wanted to fill that gap. We wanted to say to people, you're okay even if you're not doing okay. This is a safe place and we'll check up on you. Seeing this uh, was really moving and really provides some hope that others might be able to win their battle. Chris may have lost his battle. And that doesn't mean the war is lost, and that doesn't mean other people have to lose their battle. Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.